Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Lydia. If you're one of my amazing returning subscribers, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing Juicy Couture Malibu. So if you guys want to see this review, go ahead and stay tuned. So y'all, this is actually my first time actually owning a Juicy Couture fragrance. I have never purchased one of their fragrances before this and quite frankly it's because I literally hate them. <laughs> I know you guys might be thinking like then why did you get it but there is a story behind why I got this perfume and I'm gonna tell it to y'all. So I was out of town for a funeral and where we were going there was supposed to be like this dealer's outlet and I was super excited about going to the store. I didn't purchase anything back home because I was just like once I get to where we're going I'm gonna do some damage. Fast forward we get there we walk around the entire store it was like an abandoned value city if you guys remember that store like if you're of a certain age you remember it like a value city type situation it was like ugh. so we didn't really get anything i me and my sister got maybe two or three things we didn't really get anything that like we were really excited about so we end up stopping at this burlington on the way back home and at that point i was severely disappointed i was just like i'm leaving with something I'm leaving here with something <laughs> you know what i mean i'm from around the way i'm leaving with something i'm taking something home with me like i can't go home empty-handed so i saw this fragrance in the burlington it was on sale and i had never seen this fragrance before so i got it without further ado let me show you guys what the actual box looks like up close So that is what the box looks like up close. It's a really pretty box. It's a pretty box. The Juicy Couture like logo type thing is actually raised and also the name Juicy Couture is raised on the side of the bottle. So I think it's really, really cute. Let me show you guys what the actual bottle looks like. So that is what the bottle looks like up close. And this is the 1.3 ounce. So it's kind of a smaller bottle. Um, it has this weird ring type situation that clips onto the front of the bottle cap. And I'm kind of confused about it because at first I thought it was a ring. So I was just like, this is cute, but it's not. So I guess I'm just gonna leave it clipped to the front of the bottle. But it really does do a lot to kind of elevate the cuteness of the bottle. It adds something different to it. So I think that that's really, really cute. So let's go ahead and get on to the actual notes of this fragrance. So this is kind of a bit of an oldie. This was released in 2013. So it's been out for a cute little minute. And this is one of those fragrances that literally has a ton of notes in it. So in the top notes, there is passion fruit, watermelon, mandarin orange, green apple, black currant, and green leaves. In the middle notes, there is jasmine, tuberose, water lily, wild rose, and frangipani. And for the base, there is tiary flower, musk, and woodsy notes. So that's a whole lot of notes in this little fragrance. So let me go ahead and spray it and let you guys know what I can smell. I kind of feel like since there's so many notes in this fragrance, it's kind of hard to pinpoint what is what. I definitely smell the green leaves and I kind of feel like it adds a little bit of a powdery type scent to it in the beginning of it. I definitely smell the watermelon and the mandarin oranges. Not really the green apple or the black currant. It definitely has a green citrusy type scent when you first spray it. And I don't really even smell the woods in this fragrance either. You definitely get the musk and you also, instead of getting those woodsiness, you smell the florals in this fragrance. 
So it's almost like a citrusy floral type scent. It is kind of a basic scent. It's very basic. I'm not going to say kind of. It's really basic, but it doesn't smell terrible. I don't regret buying it. Um, I'm happy that I have it in my collection because of the bottle. It's a cute bottle. If I need something to throw on and I don't have access to my other children, I'll choose this because it doesn't smell terrible, but it really smells basic. So if you're one of those people who doesn't like scents that really stand out too much and kind of smell like everything or like it smells like a i guess kind of universal scent this is definitely something that would work for you this isn't one of those head turners but if you need something to just throw on real quick either to run to the store or to run a couple errands this is something nice you'll smell like something but it's not your good good perfume i don't know if i'm gonna purchase more Juicy Couture fragrances in the future. I went into a Macy's one time and I was actually going for a different fragrance and one of the ladies at the perfume counter grabbed me and she was like I, I got something for you. And I was just like really? So I followed her over to the counter. She pulled out every Juicy Couture fragrance that they had. Every last one and literally she had all the bottles out on the counter. She had the older lines that they had, the newer ones that they had just got in and we literally just sat there I stood there sniffing every last one of their fragrances and none of them really like jumped out at me and really made me want to buy it I was just like eh -eh. and I'm not really trying to step on any toes like for the ones who love Juicy Couture fragrances like I know people who love them and like that's cool good like that's that's awesome that's amazing but it's not me it is not me like I it's cute it's really cute it has its place and I'm sure it will serve its purpose but that place is not in my heart but I think this its place is to just sit on my shelf and look cute for now and also if any of you guys have tried that fragrance or any of the other fragrances as always let me know what you guys think of them do you like them let me know down in the comment section below so y'all that was my review of Juicy Couture in Malibu I hope you guys really really enjoyed this video and as always I hope to see all of you guys next time bye